ChatGPT imagery isn't the best, but it's very useful. It's flexible and honestly, sometimes it's kind of fun. I've used it to illustrate a short story I wrote, design a Lego version of my dog from front and side view, even rough thumbnails for YouTube and a few social media post mockups. But it's not just for design work. You can ask it to create something totally personal, like memorialize a fun family moment in a cartoon style. I find it does alter faces quite a bit, so don't expect perfect likenesses, but it's still fun to turn someone you love into a character. Or if you're using ChatGPT to write presentations or newsletters, just ask for what you need. It'll give you a decent result that you can use without leaving ChatGPT. If you're on a paid plan, you get a more visual interface. Just go left here, click on Sora. It opens up your web app with all the media that you've generated. Click My Media here on the left and you get all your images you've ever generated with ChatGPT. You can create more images by prompting it down here or upload an image for referencing or to change it. You can also create videos, choose which aspect ratio the image is generated in and how many images per prompt. So you can generate one to four and what style those images will be generated in. I do use Midjourney and Recraft and the open source models for big design projects, but for quick visuals, creative ideas, or something fun to share, ChatGPT is right here and it does the job. If you want to go deeper into image generation, watch my full videos, links in the description.